In this video, I'm showing you 10 useful tips for your Mac. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll be able to get way more out of your Mac and also be more productive as well. Let's go ahead, roll the intro and jump right in. All right, getting things started with number one is called Quick Look. Whenever I'm using the Finder on my Mac and I wanna preview something, Quick Look always comes in handy as I don't wanna completely open the item just to preview something. So let me show you what I mean. Inside a folder I have of some wallpapers, if I wanna preview some of these images, instead of completely opening up the image and then closing it on the top left, all I have to do is click on the image and then press and hold the space bar to get a preview of that item. This works with any file type on the Mac, not just images, and it's a really fast way to preview stuff on your Mac without completely opening it. Next up at number two is to quit an application using a keyboard shortcut. I'll open up Safari for an example. Now the way most people close out of applications is by pressing the red icon here on the top left. However, you'll notice based on the dot that's underneath Safari, Safari is actually still running. And if you wanna quit Safari, you have to press on it with two fingers and then press on quit. You can actually do this with just one keyboard shortcut. So while Safari is open, if I go Command Q on my keyboard, it's going to completely close out of Safari and remove it from the RAM. Next up at number three is accessing your emoji keyboard on the Mac. People don't usually use emojis on the Mac simply because they don't know how to access them. It's way easier to access your emoji keyboard on your iPhone or your iPad, for example. You can access emojis on the Mac, however, it requires a keyboard shortcut. If you go command control space, you're gonna see it opens up your emoji keyboard. Now I have it in a different character viewer. When you do it, you're gonna see this view right here. You can search for any emoji you want at the top, and it also puts your frequently used emojis right below it as well. So command control space in any text field in the Mac is going to open up your emoji keyboard. Next up at number four is taking a screenshot of just a single window on the Mac. You guys are probably familiar with the option to take a screenshot of the entire screen using Command Shift 3. As you can see, it captures my entire screen. If you go Command Shift 4, you can see that the cursor now turns into sort of a pointer and you're able to drag it and create a custom sized screenshot. You can actually extend this functionality on Command Shift 4 if you press the spacebar. So I'll open up Safari and then go Command Shift 4. And if I press the spacebar, you can see that my cursor now turns into a camera icon. And you can hover this over whichever open window you have. So if I click on Safari right here, you can see it captures Safari as a PNG image. And if I open this up, you can see it captured the window perfectly, even with the rounded corners. So if you just want to capture a single window on your Mac, Command Shift 4 and then the space bar is the way to do it. Next up at number five is for those of you who have a MacBook or a desktop Mac with a trackpad. Open up System Settings and then go to Trackpad. You then want to make sure that tap to click is turned on. This makes navigating Mac OS so much easier with the trackpad. When this is turned off, you physically have to click in the trackpad to get Mac OS to detect your click. When I have this turned on, all I have to do is lightly tap the glass on my trackpad to simulate a click. So I find this so much easier to navigate Mac OS when this is turned on. And this is something I always do on every new Mac I get. Coming in next at number six allows you to easily get a definition of any word anywhere in Mac OS. So for example, I'll open up Safari here. Now, if you want to define anything, all you have to do is hover your cursor over the word and then force press on your trackpad over that word. And it's gonna automatically open up the dictionary. Now, if you don't have a trackpad on your Mac, you can simply select the word and then click on look up and it's gonna give you a definition just like that. However, if you have a trackpad, it's a lot easier to do this with just a force press with three fingers. Number seven is again, one of the settings I always turn on right away whenever I get a new Mac. Open up system settings and then go to touch ID and password. You then wanna make sure that if you have an Apple Watch, you turn on unlock with Apple Watch. When your Apple Watch is on your wrist and unlocked, whenever you wake up your Mac, 
it's automatically going to authenticate and let you in right away. This is a lot faster than entering your passcode or even using Touch ID on the keyboard. Whenever I open the lid of my MacBook Air, I'm authenticated almost immediately and I love using this feature every single day. Next up at number eight is a really easy way to use split screen on the Mac. Not that many people use split screen because they simply don't know how to do it. In my opinion, I think this is the one area where Windows actually does it better. However, we still can access split screen on the Mac. If you have multiple windows open, all you have to do is press and hold on the green icon in the window. And you can see we have tile window to left of screen and tile window to right of screen. So let's move Safari to the left hand side and then I can have weather open in the right hand side. And just like that, you can open up a really easy view in split screen on the Mac. Number nine is a really easy way to access the launch pad on your Mac. If you don't know what the launch pad is, it's this icon here at the bottom left on your dock that shows all of the applications on your Mac. It is pretty easy if you're here seeing your dock to quickly access the launch pad. However, if you're in an application in full screen and you want to view all of your applications, you can actually still access it with a simple gesture on the trackpad. So of course, this does require a Mac with a trackpad. So if you have a desktop Mac, like an iMac, for example, with a mouse, unfortunately, this will not work. All you have to do is take four fingers and pinch out to in, and it's going to open the launch pad on your Mac really easily. And finally, at number 10, this one is for Control Center. When you go up to the top right corner of your Mac and open up Control Center, you can see we have a whole bunch of toggles in here. If there is a certain section that you access all the time, you can actually drag out any of these sections into the menu bar. You can see here in my menu bar, I have display preferences and also my volume as well. So if I open up Control Center once again, let's say I want to have my focus modes in my menu bar. All I have to do is pick up focus and drag it into the menu bar just like that. So hopefully now after watching this video, you'll be able to get so much more out of your Mac and be way more productive as you use it every single day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a like and also comment down below and tell me what your favorite tip was I shared with you in this video. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you next time.